Hello ladies and gentlemen, Jim here. A brain-eating amoeba has been detected in the Louisiana water system, the third time the potentially deadly organism has been found in the same district since 2015. Negleria fowleri, a, par a parasite, excuse me, which causes fatal brain swelling and tissue destruction, was identified in Terrebonne water. All freshwater sources in the parish have been affected, including drinking water, water in the bayous and pools, and water used for shower and baths. The fatality rate for those infected by the parasite is over 97 percent according to the CDC. Now officials from Consolidated Water Works say the water is perfectly safe to drink. It's just not safe to get up your nose. Infection occurs when water containing the amoeba enters the body through the nose and travels to the brain where it destroys tissue. Normally we see this amoeba in surface water when people go swimming and they get it way up in their sinuses and they'll get an infection said Jimmy Guidry, Louisiana Department of Health's medical director. They'll start getting symptoms that are similar to meningitis. A total of 40 infections have been reported in the U.S. between 2007 and 2016, according to the CDC. And my friends, this parasite, I believe, has also appeared in Florida in recent years. And again, it's okay to drink that water in Terrebonne, Louisiana. Just don't get it up your nose. That's how this amoeba, this parasitic amoeba, can actually get into your brain and begin to essentially eat your brain. Sounds like science fiction, uh, but this is the real deal. If you're in that area of the U.S., please be wary of this. I will leave you a link. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Please give this video a thumbs up. Share it if you feel so led to. And there's artificial intelligence, weird weather, pestilence, spiritual warfare, politics, the Second Amendment, and much more in my new fiction book, Light, a Wayfarer story, available in Kindle and paperback and linked below. And I'm not sure how fictional it might be. It might be as much nonfiction. Check it out. But most importantly of all, do not be given over to the spirit of fear, but instead of the power of love and of a sound mind that comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless you.